Hey guys, Mr. Bullock here with uh, the last lesson of Chapter 4 using congruent triangles. Okay, let's begin. Alright, so there's five ways now to prove triangles congruent. Side, 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 there's a picture. Side, angle, side, where the, the angle is in between the two sides right there, so the included angle. Uh, then we have uh, angle, side, angle. Notice the side is the included side right there. Then we have angle, angle, side where the side is a non-included angle right there. And finally, for right triangles only, HL theorem. Okay, so there's five ways to prove triangles congruent. Uh, so in proofs with triangles, your goal is to use one of those five ways to get them congruent. And then you're going to use uh, what's called corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, CPCTC is always your reason after each uh, statement of congruent triangles. Okay, I'll come back to that in just a second. All right, so here's a proof. We have a few proofs here. All right, now, again, you guys, we'll get through them. I wouldn't expect you guys to know how to do them right off the bat. Some of you might, but, but as long as I can get you guys to nod your heads and say, yeah, I followed that, I, I am stoked if you can do that. All right, so I'm going to cut these triangles into two triangles. I'm going to split them up, and I'm going to mark one is congruent to two, so I'm going to put a mark right there and a mark right there. And then angle MOG, so here's MOG, so this angle right here I'm going to put an arc, and over here I'm going to put an arc right here. Okay, so the first statement is always the given. Notice I marked them. Looks like I didn't separate them. I didn't have to on that one right there. Okay, is there any reflexive happening on there? And yeah, it shares GO, so GO is congruent to GO, reflexive property. And then can you see those triangles are now congruent by this? It goes angle, angle, side. So I just got to say it in the correct order. I think I'm going to say M-O-G is congruent to E-O-G. Okay, angle, angle, side. All right, so um, uh, now uh, let's go back to what I said, and I underlined it. CPCTC is always your reason after each step statement of congruent triangles. So I'm going to put, so here I have congruent triangles. This is now always CPCTC, okay? Unless I, that was my goal to get congruent triangles, but this is not congruent triangles. This goes down right here, corresponding parts of these congruent triangles. So MO, first and second letter, would be first and second letter right there. So MO would be congruent to, to uh, EO by CPCTC, okay? So I got triangles congruent, and then I use those congruent triangles with CPCTC, and that always tells me all the other parts are congruent. All right, let's try another one of those, okay? Same thing, almost same stuff, okay? The given, all right? So I'm going to set you all up so you, you can fill it in. So let's pause it right here, you guys, and see if you can fill it in. If you can't, that's okay. All right, and when you're done, here we go. Okay, there's the given. Notice I put the markings in there. Reflexive property. Notice I put the markings right there. And then THA, I went from THA, so I went from uh, one dash to three dashes, so I got to go one dash to three dash, so MHA, okay, uh, by side, side, side. And then always CPCTC comes after the congruent triangles, and then you can say angle T, the first letter is equal to the first letter. Angle T is congruent to angle M. Okay, let's try it again. You got, oops, that's it. Good job. 